Well, here's our exit. We're going to make it. We're gonna, I can walk from here if I got to, but I think we're going to make it. Well, we just left Windsor. We had to go pick up another project. We're going to see if it makes it back home. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's been a crazy few days around here, but we're going to make a bit of a switch up today. We're taking a break from the Agco Alice. We'll just, we'll just call her Alice. It's starting to look like Sanford and Son around here. But we're taking a break because I drove home another project. Have a look. Yep, that is a 2005 Saturn View. That is my mother's car. A little bit of backstory on that. Uh, when my pop passed, they had a Dodge Caravan. That since has quit. And mom's been without a car. And, well, you always got to take care of your own. So uh, I got looking around Marketplace. Found that online. And Jen and I went and bought it. Drug it home last week. But it's got some issues. Mainly the brakes. Have a look at the ride home. We got about a 35-40 minute drive to get home. Hopefully that uh, gas gauge on the left there works. But hey, I guess we'll see you all at home. Or the side of the road, one of the two. We're shooting for home though. All right, we're about 10 miles into our road trip. I had to slow down for a car in front of me, if you can imagine that. I'm going speed limit, still had to slow down. Pushed on a brake pedal and to the floor it went. And I am not kidding, it went to the metal. Brake pedal to the metal. That's different than gas pedal to metal. Uh, surprised me a little bit. I knew the brakes might have had some sort of issues. Uh, it, it's bad. But, emergency brake works. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Anyway, we're about 10, 12 miles in. So far, so good. We'll check in in a little bit here. As long as I can keep it out of the rebar. But for so far, it's driving like a champ. I mean, it, it's... There's no shakes, no shimmies, uh, it's riding smooth. As long as you ain't got to stop, you got no problems. Anyway, I, I may stop and throw a couple dollars in it just to make sure this gas cage has not moved since I left Windsor. I might have wanted to ask if it worked, but where's the fun in that? So I've got probably, I got maybe about another three kilometers I'm getting off this highway. And then we'll be home. Well, here's our exit. We're gonna make it. We're gonna. I can walk from here if I gotta, but I think we're gonna make it. My golly, I think we're gonna make it. We got our speed down. Gas gate still ain't moved. Obviously, gonna have to look into that. All right, we made it home. We left at a quarter of a tank. It now says empty. Gas lights on. So that wasn't as scary as it looked. It, it really wasn't. But uh, the emergency brake did work well. I tried it. I tested it. It worked fine. And the 401 is a straight shot home. So everything worked out. But uh, as you're about to see, I tried to bleed the brakes. They wouldn't bleed. I had Ella pumping a pedal. I was working the bleeder screws. No matter what I did, they just would not work. And the brake system is new. It is all new. Everything is new. Master cylinder, lines, brake shoes, pads, everything. Now, I could feel the back brakes compressing in the drum, but nothing on the front. Now, that normally tells me that there's a leak. But I searched all over and could not find a leak. So, I tried to bottle bleed the brakes, and uh, that didn't work either. I think if they were set up properly, it would work. And what I mean by that is this. Okay, I'll pump it. It won't go unless it's running. Start it up. All the way. This way? Yep. I'll, no, I'll wait on that side. Hey, I'll this one. Okay, That's I'll shut it off. Pull the up. Pump now I'm about to run out of daylight here. Tell me if you notice. Hopefully that works. What is wrong 
with that brake caliper. Time's up. What is wrong is the bleeder screw is on the bottom. And it's the same on, let me get up here. And it's the same on the other side. Now, which, which obviously means whoever did the brake job, they put the right on the left and the left on the right. Now the young man that I bought this from, I, I believe him, he took it to a mechanic to have the brakes done on it and the mechanic did the brakes. I use that term mechanic loosely and gave it back to him with the brakes the way they are. And they put them on backwards. The bleeder screw's got to be at the top. It took me a while to figure that out. So what we're going to do here is, I am, like I said, I'm running out of daylight. I'm going to get all the lights checked out, make sure everything's working. What's not, we're going to write down what's not working. We're going to go get bulbs and put them in it probably tomorrow. They all need to be in good working order for safety, as do the brakes. So the weather holds out tomorrow. We're going to get the brakes swapped around, get them bled so that they're actually working, so that my mother ain't driving into other cars, because that'd be a bad thing. Then... I think we're going to have to fix the exhaust. I'll show you the exhaust later. But it does need a pipe put in there. And then we're going to get it over for a safety check so that she can finally have a car. I like to say I'm waiting on the dark to check the lights. But I'm waiting for my helper to get home so she can run the switches while I check the lights. That's called procrastinating. Putting off today, which you can do tomorrow. All the above. Will my help finally come home? This time we're going to check the lights. Obviously the best time to do it is at night. Both headlights work. Marker light. We're going to go check the tail lights. Both tail lights work. But we were missing the license plate light. Oh, you can't see that. Okay, I'll put your foot on the brake pedal. Push it all the way down. Okay, again. Let off and do it again. Okay. Left signal. Right signal. You're going to do the same thing on the back, L. Okay, so looks like all the signal lights work, headlights work. Okay, we're gonna pull the high beams on now. Now pull it again, nope, pull it again, let go. There you go. So you pull it, it comes on, pull it, it goes off. Oh, sweet. So it would appear, how long lights are you getting cold? Yes, it's cold. All right. That's, I turned the light on because you were telling me to push the brake, but I couldn't see which brake it was. All right, go ahead, go back in the house. We're good. Thank you. It's freezing, and I just washed my hair, and my hair is wet. Not the best lighting, but it's what we got. All the lights on the outside work, with the exception of the license plate lights, so we're going to have to get that fixed. So that is checked off. We're going to work on the, I guess that's my cue to call it a night. I'll see you all in the morning. Well, it is the next morning, and it is time to get those brakes done. Uh, got the tools all set out on the deck door closing on us, but it's a nice day. We're going to go lay in the driveway and switch those calipers around. Well, we got the wheels off. Let's have a look at what we're dealing with here. These calipers are upside down. This bleeder screw is supposed to be at the top. Same problem on the other side, which means they got the right on the left and the left on the right. So we're going to take these off, swap them around, bleed the brakes, and see if we can make this thing work. Good thing is, it's all new stuff. Alright guys, first thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen the bolts that hold the caliper on. And that is going to be a 14 millimeter. There's going to be one on the top, one on the bottom. And this one here, no, oh, it's not a 12. It's probably going to be an 11 millimeter. And correct, it's an 11 millimeter. So let's get these loosened off. That was not very tight. The one on the bottom. Well, it wasn't very tight either. It's all right. So we're just cracking this one loose again so we ain't got to fight with it. And 
wouldn't have had to fight with that one anyways. All right, let's get these things off. We are going to lose some brake fluid here. Not overly concerned about that. What I might do is just get a drain pan. Just so I don't leave it sitting in my driveway. Just like that, off it comes. Okay, so before we disconnect this one completely, we're going to go take the other side off, and I'll be right back. All right, so I got the other side on. It wasn't really a big deal, and that's exactly what the problem was. They had the right on the left, the left on the right. Uh, a little bit of a brake fluid mess on the other side. The uh, brake line hose fell down. I didn't catch it in time, and a little bit of a mess. But what we're going to do now is we're just going to screw this back to the bracket here. Need a little bit of moving, not a big deal. There we go. What you don't want to do is cross thread this. Get the bottom one in. Is that going to be nice to me today? Looks like it is. Okay, so we got the caliper swapped left right right left just gonna make sure everything is tight and we're not gonna torque it to Alabama but we're gonna make sure it's tight that'll work now we're gonna see if it bleeds any brighter brighter bleeds any brighter some good Ontario English for you right there well, since I don't have anybody to help me bleed the brakes today what I'm gonna do is so I'm going to try and bottle bleed these. You see what's happening here? You can see the air coming out of the lines already. So I'm going to go pump this and see if I can get some more air out. Now obviously I can't see what's going on here, but you can. The bottle has brake fluid in the bottom. Got the hose running in there, and in the top, right here, is a small eighth-inch hole. And what happens is, is when you pump this, it pumps into the bottom of the bottle. All the air comes in. The air bubbles at the top and comes out this hole. But as you can see, we have solid fluid in here now. When you let off the brake pedal, it's going to suck it back in. What it's sucking back in is the brake fluid you put in the bottom. It's supposed to be how it works, but it looks like we got all the air out of that line. Tighten up that bleeder screw. Then we'll go on to the next side. The back is already done, so we're good there. And you want to start with the one furthest away from the master cylinder, which is obviously the passenger side. We'll get the other one done, I'll get right back to you. All right, she's back together, back on the ground. Let's go, let's remove our Canadian wheel chalk for safety reasons. All right, let's see what the pedal looks like. Oh, much better much better it's uh just move it back and forth for a second uh it's either gonna stop or we're gonna take the grill out of jen's durango let's see
Sorry for the whew, sorry for the delay in moving there. That I had a bang in the back of the car. A bang. No, something jumped. One of the cats got in the car. I didn't know it scared the daylights out of me when I went to move. Looks like we fixed our problem. Well, that was relatively painless. Uh, hard pressed to understand why a garage would do that. Licensed mechanic at that, but it is what it is. It's really not that hard. If you don't know how to do it or have no skills whatsoever when it comes to that, don't touch it. Try and take it to somebody reputable or YouTube is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to doing that kind of stuff, but it stops and obviously that's our main goal Let me show you the setup that I had here This is what I used to bottle bleed The front brakes put a little bit of fluid in here. This is a Gatorade bottle by the way Drill the hole in the top so that the hose would fit in there tight Also drill the 1 8 hole in there to let the air out You put that on your bleeder screw open it up pump the brakes you can see the air coming out it goes in the bottom and it bubbles up when it bubbles up it exits this hole in the top when this line fills up and there's no more bubbles coming out your brakes are bled if it does suck back in that's the reason for the fluid in the bottom it sucks the fluid back in the hose not the air so that's about all i got for today's video i hope you all enjoyed that hope you all learned something from that uh I learned if you take your vehicle to a garage to have some work done, check it over yourself when it's done. Um, I did not pay to have this done, by the way. Um, I purchased a vehicle like this with the brake issues. It is what it is. Be safe. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.